might need to go that way and touch. Five years after her documentary Banana in a Nutshell brought to life the complexities of cross-cultural relationships and made waves at the New Zealand International Film Festival, Roseanne Liang's once deeply personal story is being made into a fully funded feature film. They're just an excuse for your racism! Feature filmmaking is what I've wanted to do for the longest time. It's what I've trained, um, what I studied to, to want to do. It's always been the dream. So, of course, if the chance was given to me, then I would take it. And cut! One more, please. That chance came at a sold-out festival screening of her documentary back in 2005. In the audience was the head of the biggest drama production company in the country. He shook my hand and said, uh, that was a really great film, would you like to make a feature film of it? And, and I said, yes! <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think I'm quite an impulsive person and I hadn't quite thought about the logistics of making a dramatic feature film about, based on a documentary based on true events in my life. The true events of Banana in a Nutshell were those leading up to her marriage to a Pākehā, or white New Zealander. No big deal for some, perhaps, but a very big deal for this interracial couple, as Roseanne's then boyfriend confronted the task of securing permission to marry from her staunchly traditional Chinese father. Charting Roseanne's efforts to unite her own life choices with the perceived point of view of her parents, the story hit home with a range of audiences. I mean, with the documentary alone, I realised that there were many, many, many different ways of looking at the story, um, ranging from uh, people who didn't believe that it happened anymore and that it was an old story, old hat, um, to those who are going through it right now, you know, who are doing those, those things that every sneaking around couple does. Say, say. Roseanne, will you marry me? Yes. After four years working on the feature film script and fine-tuning the concept, it took a green light for $3 million from the Film Commission to get the show on the road. I think um, they thought uh, that it was a really uh, great uh, idea for a film. Um, it was a really um, uh, unusual take on, uh, on a romantic comedy. Uh, it, it looked at another aspect of New Zealand life and would do it in an entertaining way which would, would, would have a very good chance of reaching a good audience, a broad audience. And on the other hand, I also think they saw um, the uh, talent that Roseanne has and really felt that you know, this was a person who they would like to nurture and uh, somebody who you know, had the potential to become an important uh, filmmaker in New Zealand. The film, provisionally called Girl Meets Boy, will be the first feature film by a New Zealand Chinese director. The cast showcases a range of New Zealand Chinese acting talent and also boasts two of the most celebrated and experienced Hong Kong film stars, Ching Pei Pei and Kenneth Tsang. A Chinese director in New Zealand. I think it would be the first. Being a Chinese, I want to help. First time director needs some, somebody who knows his business. Uh, I, 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 I'm in this thing for, for half a century. And I read the script. I was thinking he, she might need some enrichment on the thing, on the thing, which I hope I can provide for her. This will be the bad luck for a whole year! She's great. She knows she's very lucky. But for the first movie, um, she knows what she wants. She's very confident. I think uh, that's very important, you know, as, especially the first movie and a woman on the set. But she still knows what she wants, what she wants to get. I think for a director wise, I mean, it's very I mean, important. I don't, you know, it's, Support it's, from experienced industry players in Hong Kong and New Zealand is a valuable asset. One this filmmaker appears to be paying back with smart decisions and plenty of hard work. Film is a romantic comedy about two kids in love, but, um, but it, I like to think that it goes deeper than that, you know, because it's about, um, in many ways, it's kind of a story about 
a girl who a coming of age story, a girl who um, in this um, environment believes that she can have a career, the love of her family and the love of a good man and um, she thinks that she can have it all, she thinks that she's every woman but she goes about it getting it the wrong way, she goes about it by, by lying, by manipulating people um, and yeah and it's, it's a journey for her to discover um, how to become the best person that she can be. For Roseanne, the process of converting her own biographical documentary into a feature film has provided challenges and lessons along the way. I'm continually learning. I mean, I've learned so much in this process and it's been a joy. It's been a joy to learn and to even, even to make mistakes have been good in hindsight because I think, oh yeah, I can improve on that. I can't wait to improve on that. In the meantime, it's all concentration in the edit suite. The film will be in post-production for the rest of this year and is set for a New Zealand release in March next year.